Welcome in everybody and today we are going through my Iron Man profile in which we have spent 1000 hours on. Now this kind of ties in perfectly because we also recently just hit one whole year on the profile. There is a video explaining that and going over all of that stuff in detail. If you haven't seen it go check it out. But yeah, 1000 hours which is pretty pretty nuts. If I do slash at playtime you'll be able to see it here. 984 hours we're 16 hours off but in terms of like time and when this video comes out and things like that we, we, we should be hitting a thousand hours and as you guys know 16 hours is kind of nothing in high pixel skyblock game time i can get that in a day if not two days if i really wanted to so we're doing this now just for the sake of time and all that kind of things but i just want to go through the profile go through pretty much every single stat and skill and things like that that we have to see what we've got and where we spent it in that time now if you're regular viewers of the channel you'll kind of know where i spent a lot of the time especially recently but if you are new around here make sure you hit the subscribe button it is very much appreciated thank you so so much for everyone for doing that let's get into the video now doing slash play time allows you to actually click the details you can see how much you've spent in each hour now a quick run through of all of them you can obviously see them on screen here but the top one is the garden followed by the crystal hollows and the dwarven mines but you can kind of add them together and call that mining so we're looking at 330 roughly 327 hours on mining and 409 hours in the garden farming alone which is kind of insane so that, those are my playtime hours that's where i spent most things and let's be honest the last couple hours that we've got to go to hit 1k will probably be spent in the garden but that's not where we're going to start things off today i want to run through everything that i've got and quite a few things that i have one thing you may already have seen through this video is the divan armor set we've got the jaded helmet chest plate leggings and boots of divan three out of four of them have a perfect topaz gemstone on i kind of need to get the last one done and get my worm fishing done but i just haven't done that in a while and I'm slacking with it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As stated, we did a 50 run video, which is also on the channel. Basically, any kind of big event or anything like that we've done, or most things have been covered already on the channel. So just check through the Iron Man playlist that you'll find, and all the videos relating to it will be there. So obviously, our mining set is the Devon Armor. We also have a few other mining sets. For example, we have the Yog set. Now, we do not have the full set on right now. We have the other parts here, Yog, Yog, but we are kind of using it with Sorrow Mix because we're trying to grind a sorrow set at the moment or kind of half grinding the sorrow set at the moment for the extra magic find if we ever need it for things or whatever it may be so this is kind of like a magic findy set i will get full sorrow don't worry we just need to grind it as well as that we have the mineral set which you just get basically from playing and doing uh mining fiesta events or grinding ores and things like that a pretty good set especially earlier in the game but as you get up and you get like a few of your hot m tree things up you'll definitely not really be needing it as much only really for like mines of divin and the gold and things like that as far as i'm aware right now correct me in the comments if i'm wrong talking about our hot m we're gonna look at our hot m tree right now anything with a blue sort of circle in the middle is maxed so we've done a lot of dwarven mines grinding so that's kind of why these ones are all maxed right now but we've got mining speed fortune titanium insanium and daily powder max official miner is at 80 so we're not necessarily far off in terms of the levels but powder wise it's going to take a while to get there and then season moment i'm not too bothered about my specific level because i know that that's going to go up anyway so that's the last thing i'm grinding because i don't need the level for anything other than to show off oh i've got this level we go through to mining madness sky mall and these three here are just one click buys anyway so they, they're not upgradable so that there's no myth or powder spent on that our peak of the mountain is level seven we needed that to be able to do this sort of pitchfork i call it um really good for like gemstone grinding and things like that not really put much into this too much i haven't gem really gemstone grinded yet that is something we will get into later in the game but not anytime soon i don't think just because i'm focused more on the garden and grinding all that stuff trying to complete like that kind of area of the game also great explorer amazing for the chest and the crystal hollows make sure you get that please the amount of people that ask me how to unlock the chest instantly this is how you do it by the way guys any of this stuff my profile is always available to view it is the cucumber profile you can check me out by pving and 3 rc underscore 115 or you can do that same name into skycrit check out the cucumber profile on this iron man journey i've got a few other profiles on there you're more than welcome to check out as well but this is the iron man one this is the one i pretty much grind full time and we've got one or two mining pets but we'll go over all the pets together 
um, just to keep them in sort of one area and one segment of the video. Before that, we'll get into our mining tools and stuff. This backpack and storage area is completely just out of pocket. It needs to be rearranged. I'm so, so sorry. I know that some of you are looking at this right now going, oh my God, my eyes. Kind of a breakdown as to where we are. We have the gemstone gauntlet. Yeah, let me take this out. We have the gemstone gauntlet. Uh, which we have renamed to the Thanos Mitten slash NEU rename space and then whatever name you want by the way for that has two perfect gemstones on which is really really cool and compact X and all that stuff this is really really good I'm so glad that I grinded for this as early as possible because this has really been backpacking my mining journey if I am going to be completely honest also if you guys have been keeping up to date with the Devon's drill speedrun series not really a speedrun at this point but we were at we have this titanium drill dr555 we are currently working towards the 655 anytime we have a day off work or an hour spare that we can mine we end up going and doing it but garden is my primary focus so it's going to take a little bit of time to do that guys i do apologize but that's what we are with that we're grinding a few things you see in the backpack up here we've got a few of like golden plates and stuff like that that we're slowly like accumulating and getting towards so definitely doing that we got things like the stonk we've got a bunch of pick omnibus and jade rolls and helix and all, all that stuff that we got from the runs a couple fortune four but which are pretty cool we've got the i think it's down here somewhere to here it's literally my thing we've got the ghost and gauntlet which is which are good mining gloves um which i'll whack on if and when i need we also have have one silex just in our inventory chilling for when we need it a couple of our, of the other regular pickaxes and things like that just scattered about but nothing else other really kind of crazy we obviously got the devon's alloy which i do not even flex okay genuinely don't talk about it but we obviously got the devon's alloy first run if you haven't seen that video then you can go check out it's kind of the reason i still main this profile because i got that on my first run and i kind of need to keep the rng on this profile like it's been insane like i can't believe i, I still can't believe i got this first run like what anyway in terms of like sacks our gemstone sack holds about 3.5 million worth of gemstones you can see all this through the sky handy mod by the way so if you have mods so you want to be able to see like what your price is worth you can do it between uh npc and bazaar if you whatever you desire um sky handy does that and then my large mining sack has about 38 million so we, we got a few million in sacks in general talking about sacks we have a crystal hollow sack which doesn't have much it's really good for like if you get like a synthetic hearts or any of the any things you need just from the crystal hollows obviously a dwarven mine sack as well things like eggs biofuels plasma sorrow that's really good for that stuff these sacks are really really good game changing sacks like i definitely definitely would recommend getting them once you have the bits they're definitely worth it for sure a few people ask me about sacks and my personal opinion on them is you don't need any more than two um large sacks in terms of agronomy or minings because once you get about forty thousand of an item it's going to be turning itself into the enchanted version and that's where you get the enchanted sack and upgrade that as much as possible because after like about forty thousand of the item you really don't need to be collecting that item like because forty thousand is enough to upgrade whatever you need to upgrade quickly purchase anything that you need to quickly purchase i made the mistake of getting a lot i have like 100k worth and sacks do stack by the way guys so if you have like three four five of them it will store just it will add together how many you have in each sack and just to have that as your total but i recommend having two large sacks and then like put the pocket sack and sack in your mining one and obviously have your personal compactors for all that stuff again you can check out any of these sacks that you want and see the value of them on any of the sites that do all that stuff i'm just kind of showing you what i've got at this moment what i've accumulated and how far i've got there now if i pv myself you'll see that my account is worth 4.5 billion now obviously a third of that is through the alloy itself but we've still got about 3 billion net worth just from grinding in the game and getting our levels up we are skybook level 173 our taming is maxed at level 50 mining is 54 foraging 20 enchanting 60 carpentry 44 farming is level 60 and maxed combat 34 and fishing is 21 alchemy 46 room crafting 22 a little bit of the slayers we need to do rev slayer 6 to get our um 
and we've done a tiny bit of ender and no blaze or vampire slayer again i'm not really combat focused as some of you will know but i am trying to be a bit more out there in terms of what i'm doing on the profile obviously i know that i will need to grind them to get the profile up dungeoneering catacomb 16 i really do not do dungeons that much i should i don't i'm sorry profile stats you can see when we join 29th for the third it's currently eighth of the fourth right now so we're just over a year and 10 11 days whatever it may be obviously here's the guild if anyone does want to join the guild it's mercs minions uh the e with a three on the mercs by the way and you have we ask that you're level 150 and skill average 30 just so that we obviously want people that are consistent and play because there's spots that need to be taken up. If you're going to take up the sport and not actually play the game, it's going to be a spot that's taken that could be used for someone who would play. In terms of storage, you can again, you can see all this stuff. I'm going to run through a lot of things with you, but this is just if you PV me, you, you'll see what I've got, which is pretty cool. In terms of collections, I guess we can check our mining collections out here as well. And we can see where we are in terms of what we've collected and everything it looks like our top thing is hard zone at 0.08 percent and we've mined 12 million of it unless i'm not seeing something and it is better no that is it that is definitely it which is pretty sick um i don't expect to be top one in anything because i've not really mined as much as i could have on this profile but that's pretty pretty sick nonetheless now let's look at our farming stuff a lot of people ask me about this farm design we have a video on the channel about it if you want to go check it out go check that out i'll go over how it works and then link to the actual building of the video so you guys can build it yourself at one for one those of our farming level obviously we are level 60 as you saw earlier we spent a lot of time in the garden this is our most played area and i absolutely love farming i can't tell you why i can't tell you what it is about it i just absolutely love it it's a lot of fun for me we're currently rocking the fermento set which i absolutely love because we just got the harvester helmet skin that dropped which i think is pretty sick this skin allows you to change the design of it based on what you want pretty much it has over 90 plus designs and you can change it based on how much you farmed each thing so obviously you need to do a little bit of farming to unlock each design i think i'm pretty much at that point where i farmed everything now enough to get whatever one i want but because i'm doing cult e10 on pumpkin right now i thought do you know what i'm gonna have pumpkin and it looks pretty cool we've also got the lotus accessories here on our person um three of them are green farm four and one with green farm three we're just waiting um to get that um we can actually pretty much afford that straight away so we will be having that pretty much soon slowly working on getting this up and getting our farming fortune up and things like that which is pretty pretty cool we do have mossy on one of the fermented pieces and also as you can see we have a lucky die on all three of the pieces so if i quickly change texture packs to this the standard minecraft pack you will see that my armor changes color apart from my helmet because you cannot put lucky die on helmet but that's pretty sick if you ask me i actually really like the look of it but unfortunately i kind of like the first guy design a little bit better i wish they incorporated that in wow this looks different okay we need to change that back immediately there's a texture pack i use for anyone wondering by the way okay and we are back boots for the boots obviously because you know if you you do farming you know what they are but essentially you can change the speed of the boots so you, depending on what crop you're farming you can change the speed of which you're farming just via the boots and then it really really tailors in for the like the max uh block breaking per second so that's really really good in our sack if we click into this bottom one here and i like sort of shift click these in i have all of my tools here which we are grinding cultivating 10 on we have it currently on two of the tools which is the nether warts hoe and the melon dicer we're currently grinding the pumpkin dicer next and we'll have and the goal is to get it on absolutely every tool so don't worry like it's just a case of what's next we do votes on the discord on what people want to see next and i guess they punished me and chose pumpkin not the biggest fan of farming pumpkin right now i'm not gonna lie but hey ho it is what it is we've got to do it anyway so it's a case of when not if so that's what we're doing right now if you want to check all of these stats and specific stuff i have again you can always just pv and look 
cool armor set and sword that I have is the massive armor set and the pooch sword. This armor set and sword is actually what I used to kill all the ghosts to drop me all the plasmas I needed and soon to be sorrow for the 555 drill and obviously for the sorrow armor. Now this stuff is really really good and something I really recommend people get on early game especially if you're Iron Man profile. I know that if you're not Iron Man you don't really need to get that too much you can just focus on getting money in and get anything else that way but pooch armor is the way to go in terms of that getting all of the enchantments you pretty much can and then just adding all of the stuff on here as well was really really good by the way we have a wall of legends on the profile so if you want your name on the wall of legends forever all you have to do is become a member on the youtube channel subscribe over on twitch or donate a five dollar minimum while we are live to get your name on the wall this is for people who help me out it's just another way of me saying thank you to those people who go a little bit extra above and beyond um not that i'm not grateful for anyone who just sits here and watch the content like you don't have to do that at all um this is just a little something i do as well as all the added bonuses of subscribing on twitch for example or becoming a member on youtube you also get your name on this wall if you want it so if that's something you're looking to do in and this is the thing that pushes you over the edge i really would appreciate it thank you so so much and uh yeah let's just carry on with what we've got so in terms of combat that is pretty much our best set fishing wise we have wise salmon and we're kind of trying to work towards a sponge set it's going it's going <laughs> that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get uh for now again i don't fish too much but i will have to get into it a little bit especially for the worms i need to upgrade the barn's armor door or fish young dragon armor set um simply for dungeons it's dungeonized and i do not do dungeons much but for when i do it's there and it's it's usable spooky set just because we need a lot to do a lot more events nowadays and it's good to have the set if and when i need it moving on to the second page just some of these things that i've got from the garden lantern helmet bozo mask anything i'm sort of switching off of this set quickly just goes here until we either forget about it or discard it away now i'm going to quickly go over all my accessories if you want to see them specifically then just pause the video or you again you can just pv me and see them all but these are all of my accessories here right now i do need to get a bunch more so if you have any suggestions for ones i can get let me know down below i am going to be working on a video um of me getting all the accessories i can or upgrading the ones i have so definitely let me know down below any ones that i've missed that are quite easy to get or things that i should just focus on in general and we will definitely definitely work on getting those done we also have three personal compactors this one here specifically is for gemstones so it has every gemstone in and it upgrades all the way to fine if i show you here sorry it upgrades to flawed my apologies so this upgrades every gemstone to flawed which is good for which just saves timing in terms of crafting so it's pretty good to have it's just there i don't need anything more on than the uh, six thousand which is pretty good we are working on getting this farming one to seven thousand it's got quite a few different things in it and we're trying to get as many of the farming stuff in here so that we can just have one for farming and one for other stuff as well this has a bunch of other farming things in it too but as soon as the other one seven thousand we're going to use that for farming and this is probably going to just be more mining or anything else that i end up using like day to day or whatever once this farming one's done it's going in the accessory bag and it's staying there pretty much now let's look at our pets really quickly we're gonna go from the bottom up just to switch it up a little bit here but we have the giraffe pet which is pretty good for foraging the dolphin pet the rock pet we have the eerie which was great for about six seconds and then no one used it we have the guardian enchanting pet the lion the monkey pet the pig the griffin the endermite the tiger the scather which is level 100 which we are really really happy about the bee pet which is obviously one of the better pets early game really really good for like the fortune aspect armadillo owl reindeer enderman ammonite grandma wolf silverfish rabbit mushroom cow mithril golem elephant and a bow so we have all of these pets here which we're slowly grinding all of them up to level 100 and obviously legendary or as high as they can go now a lot of things on this profile need a recom on them or anything like that but that comes at quite an issue because i don't really do dungeons much it's a problem because i just will, will not get recoms as quick as possible i need to do it i know 
Get off my back. <laughs> eventually, okay? Eventually. Now, back into farming just a second. Our large enchanted agronomy sack, if we click on it and we look at the total price, has 435 million coins worth just in this sack alone. We have almost half a billion coins just in these farming sacks alone. I don't really have many coins on me or in my bank at one time because all I ever really need to do is click on this sack Put out this once and that's 6 million 13 million you know what i mean so i just like do that quickly and get the coins out of my sack instead of having to go to my bank to pull it out or i know i can use the personal bank but do you know what i never do genuinely never use it maybe that's something i need to get up i know you get that through the emerald collection i believe talking about collections the ones i've maxed out we've done three out of 17 on farming 21 out of 22 on mining nine out of 11 on combat four out of six on foraging eight out of 11 on fishing nothing on drift and five out of eight on the intrigued to see the mining one okay it's red sand okay there's not anything bar red sand it'd be interesting maybe that's a cool video idea maxing out all the collections that's uh definitely opened up an idea for me i think we can maybe look towards that in the future for sure in the farming one it's thing it's things like animals like rabbit pork chop chicken feather so we can we can look into doing that for sure yeah we definitely have a few to do on combat as well okay so i've taken off my armor so you guys can see my genuine stats but my combat stats are this now i know combat or just a few of the stats here are things i do need to get up if you feel like there's some that i need to get up as quick as possible let me know in the comments below um give me some pointers i in terms of combat i really do not know um, as I said, I'm, I mine and I farm more than I do anything else in this game. So just let me know. If it involves dungeons, then I'll get around to it when I get around to it. And here's all my gathering stats, my misc stats. So we do have a lot of bonus pest chance, but the one of the artifacts allows you to turn it off, which is pretty good. So I've started putting all my pest terminators on my armor sets, but then turning it off because I don't want the pest right now. I'd rather get the collection. Here's all my wisdom stats. And then active effects are just used via the god pot. And last but not least, here is the island. This is where I come in and spawn and do all of my things. Um, I'll admit, I haven't really built or done much on this island in a long time. So maybe we do need to add a big build on here soon and do that one day. But um, that's downtime. So maybe not. I don't know. If you have any ideas for me to build anything here, then let me know. But this is the island. It has a few portals that... I just use um, to get me to places quicker. Like I don't have a warp for this yet. So it's just easier to run through the Mushroom Island. I do have like um, any command buttons here so that I can just press these and warp to certain areas if I have them unlocked. But I still use these portals quite often and a few people in the streams use them just because they don't have it unlocked. I know there's other profiles out there for that, but it's just there if anyone wants to use it more for decoration, if I'm being honest. I'm thinking of like making like a town-esque area around here and having their own like areas of portals and stuff over there. I'll show you guys soon. I do have good plans for this and really want to make a good build of it. But it's going to take a while and I suck at building, so bear with me. Come over here. We do have a cake soul on the profile. We did get this. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. I don't keep it on me or anything. It's just sit here for people to admire and, uh, you know, take it all in. We also over here got the golden gift. So anything cool that I get that I don't really want to keep on me kind of goes over here. Um, I don't really have any use for this stuff right now. So it kind of just sits here and chills which is pretty pretty cool got a bunch of xp books here and talking about xp books actually reminds me that this page here has anything cool that i've gotten from the experiment table a few things like protection five maybe growth six giant killers in there we got siphon vampirism just a few like six five or four books that like you can only get from the table i haven't got any of the seven books yet i'm kind of like my RNG hasn't really been great there, but it, it's cool. I don't mind it. it. It it'll come. They'll come. They'll come. We got all our minions here. We did a recent thing on stream where we leveled them up as much as we could, um, and we kind of got a few of them to level twelve. And we have a few of these minions here because I don't really grind these things specifically, but we definitely need to change some of them out and start grinding them. I think. Got a little weak guy over here. Look at this dude. 
He's so cool and cute. Anyway, so yeah, that's all my minions. And again, this profile will be fully open for people to visit, for people to PV, for people to view, that sort of thing. Also have an egg hunt on this island. So if you want to come over here and click on Craig, he will give you a little bit of dialogue here. And, um, you know, he, he, he's, he's got some eggs for you to find. Here's one of them. Eight of them now. That says six. But, you know, continuity errors and things like that. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, find all eight eggs and you'll get a little bit of social XP yourself. And it's pretty cool. It's a little, little, little challenge for you guys. A lot of people do get stuck on one or two eggs. So I want to see if you guys can find. Send me screenshots on the Discord if you end up finding them all. Um, maybe uh, pretty cool to see who gets on and actually does that so that'd be pretty sick link to all that will be in the description below guys by the way you can just click on it it'll be in the link tree and you can find it there thousand hours in and that's where we are as i said i don't do much dungeons i don't do much slayers or anything like that so all our stuff is sort of mining and farming based and i've absolutely loved it now you guys have started seeing a few more adventurous videos not specific iron man videos and i have actually had one or few people question me saying is this profile going to be going am i not maining this anymore or where are my thoughts with it now for me i spent a lot of time on this profile over the last year some people will look at a thousand hours in a year and go rookie numbers get that up it can be tough working a full-time job and doing all these other things as well just trying to grind it as much as possible. One thing I've not made the mistake to do is overplay it or play an area of the game that I'm not enjoying for too long, i.e. dungeons or slayers or whatever it may be. It's not to say I hate those versions of the game or hate those parts of the game, but it just means it's going to take me a bit longer to get through them. So just bear with me on that stuff. But to make a long story short, no, I'm not going anywhere with this Iron Man account. At the very, very most, I will dial back a little bit in terms of having both of the weekly Hypixel videos typically are the Iron Man videos. I might pull that back a bit to have one of them do it and just an update of the week or if I drop something cool or whatever it may be. I'm at that point in the game now, especially with the areas that I grind where it takes weeks, if not months, just to get a little bit extra leveling or skill or a drop or something like that. So it's really hard to make content at times. I've got a bunch of ideas that don't require the iron man feature at all so i am dibble dabbling them a little bit for those who are interested in the iron man series do not worry it's not going anywhere but that does mean i will be branching out other things and just sort of other one-off videos or mini series or whatever it may be which is a little bit of downtime on this but i don't mind doing it if it's for the sake of content i'm definitely content and youtube focused first and then obviously because i played the iron man because it's the game mode i enjoy i goes hand in hand with a sense of most of my content is iron man base if the odd one isn't i'm gonna do it because it's for the content do it for the van before i ramble on not too much longer i also want to say a massive massive thank you the past year and 1000 hours and just this profile alone has pushed this channel further than i genuinely thought it would go and we're not even anywhere close to the end goal yet. I have a lot of big plans for this channel and I have a lot of big aspirations for it. And I really genuinely do appreciate every single person who takes the time to watch the video, regardless of whether you follow or watch another video or not. A massive shout out to you for the love. Thank you. Genuinely, you're amazing. But that's where I'm going to leave it today. Thank you so much for watching this video. 1000 hours on an iron man profile thank you so so much i hope that the rest of your day week month and year is absolutely awesome if you ever want to catch me live i go live over over on twitch so drop me a follow a link will be directly in the description below and we post our weekly schedule when we're going to go live on twitch through the discord so go check that out if you want to keep updated to when we go live thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll see you soon take it easy if you haven't checked out any other of my videos recently check out these ones here